Donna Douglas was a celebrated actress and singer, known for her role as Ellie Mae Clampett on The Beverly Hillbillies. Following her acting career, Donna Douglas became a real estate agent, gospel singer, inspirational speaker, and author of books for children and adults. An honest-to-goodness Southern belle, similar to her most famous character role, Ellie Mae Clampett on The Beverly Hillbillies, 1962, Donna Douglas grew up in the Baton Rouge, Louisiana area, loving critters. She got married soon after high school, had a son, divorced and won a couple of beauty contests, all within the span of a few years. She moved to New York and soon appeared on television series, including a well-remembered guest star shot on The Twilight Zone, 1959, in one of the series' most famous episodes, Eye of the Beholder, 1960, in which she plays a woman who tries to undergo a series of experimental treatments to make her beautiful, only for the treatments to fail. She immediately won the character role of Ellie Mae Clampett, on one of the greatest situation comedies of all time, The Beverly Hillbillies, 1962. For a large portion of the population, Hollywood is the promised land. It represents dreams and the way they intersect with reality. Hollywood is the entertainment epicenter of the Western world, and it continues to build and maintain that mythology to this day. But one star who wasn't falling for the film Promised Land of Milk and Honey was Donna Douglas. As Ellie Mae, Douglas delighted on the Beverly Hillbillies. But, after a taste of the filmland limelight, Douglas quickly became disillusioned with the whole system. I've never really liked it here, she told the Salt Lake City Deseret News in 1965. And who could blame her? Douglas was an outsider who longed for simpler times surrounded by people who loved and cared for her. Instead, she found herself in the belly of the beast, with her career taking some unexpected turns following the success of the Beverly Hillbillies. I want to return to Louisiana and the home and swimming pool I built there for the family. At the time, Douglas was making Frankie and Johnny with Elvis Presley. While this was doubtlessly her highest profile movie role, Douglas was outspoken about her disappointment in the movie and her regret in taking the role. Instead, she would have rather been back home with family. Rather than use her paychecks to plant further roots in Hollywood, Douglas sent a good chunk of money to add to what she had been sending her parents for the past few years. It just goes to show you how one person's dream is another's nightmare. What worked for many didn't work for Donna Douglas, and Frankie and Johnny was her final film role until 2013. After the Beverly Hillbillies, Douglas mostly retreated from the spotlight and rarely appeared in anything more than one-off guest roles in television series. Donna Douglas was a talented and fascinating celebrity who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry after her death on January 1, 2015 from pancreatic cancer. Despite facing various challenges throughout her life, Douglas remained resilient and dedicated to her craft. Her dedication to her fans and her philanthropic efforts demonstrated her kind-hearted nature and genuine compassion. Donna Douglas will always be remembered as a beloved celebrity who left a mark on the world. Do you think her argument of hating Hollywood was genuine? Thank you for watching and keep it here for more of Star Stories.